Justin Warner here for Extra Crispy, and today we're gonna to be making potsticker huevos rancheros. Huevos rancheros used to be like the uh, ethnic choice on the brunch menu, but now it's so ubiquitous. I mean, there's hardly any jazz to it. So we're gonna add another culture into this and uh, kind of dumplingify our huevos rancheros. So first we're gonna make pico de gallo. This is a jalapeno and uh, two serrano. When I deal with hot peppers, I like to wear surgical gloves. Uh, oftentimes I will uh, forget to thoroughly wash my hands afterwards and then I'll touch my eye or even worse. Et voila. Next, uh, the serranos. So here we got our jalapenos, here we got our serranos. We're gonna start pushing the knife through this way. So all of the jalapenos, they're gonna go into a container. Then we're gonna repeat the process with the serranos. Half of the serranos are gonna go in with the jalapeno. And then the other half, these are gonna go into our refried beans, which, not bragging, they're gonna be some of the best refried beans ever. So we got a one clove of garlic and one shallot. In your average pico de gallo, they're probably using onion, probably not shallot, but I think it was Mark Twain that said, the uh, shallot is an onion with a college education. He didn't actually say that. Another thing I love about shallots is like they're, they give you the color and vibrancy of like red onion, but without all of the bite of red onion. I feel like red onion is like one of the most assertive things. Like my mother if she was an onion. It's time to move on to tomatoes. Uh, right now I have 14 ounces. For some reason, that's the size the package came in and that's the size I built the recipe off of. Deal with it. We're gonna cut the tomatoes into eight. Cut it like you would into uh, little hemispheres. So it'll take me a second to like hack through all of these. But I wanna show people like the yields and the quantities and stuff. You all right with that? All right, we're getting there. We're gonna do uh, four limes, but uh, we're also gonna add that super floral and aromatic zest. So I zested one of them, and then I'm gonna do the juice of the rest. Add about a, uh, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and then we're gonna add some cilantro. Now, if you don't like cilantro, don't add cilantro. Pico de gallo is finished. We're just gonna give it a shake and throw it in the fridge. Now we're gonna bring some carne to the party. Chorizo. I mean, this is extra crispy after all, right? So we gotta have some real crispy chorizo. So now we're gonna uh, use our slotted spoon to preserve the grease. To the bowl of uh, chorizo, uh, I'm gonna add some cheese, and this is gonna go inside of our wonton wrappers. But first, the beans. All right, so to the chorizo grease, we're gonna add the uh, garlic and that other serrano. Add the beans, all right, and then we're gonna start mashing. You can see right away that that's starting to thicken. You wanna stop just short of what you think looks like refried beans. Now it's time to make the dumplings themselves, and then we're done. So, we've got these dumpling wrappers. We're gonna put that right in the center. You can use your fingers to uh, kind of situate it around. I like to make that as nice and tight in there. Then, I take a little water, then we fold this over, just like we're working at a, a burrito chain. Smash it down around the edges. To give it a true pot sticker flair, I like to go for what we call the secondary crimp. Eat your heart out, Joyce Chen, we just did that. Oh my, it's Saturday morning and I'm super hungover. Luckily, I have these little WMDs pot stickers filled with chorizo and cheese. I've got our pico de gallo that we made. I've got the best black beans ever. Now we're just gonna add some eggs, butter, sour cream, and a uh, little hair of the dog in the form of some tequila. This is the part where it gets a little bit dangerous, but very, very impressive. So this is still cooking. We just need to dress this good guy up. Put that right down there in the middle. I'm gonna take this little sandwich bag and I'm gonna scoop my sour cream in it. This is impressive. Just gonna add a couple little fresh leaves of cilantro. Quick little, little chop of some scallions. The piece de resistance, the pico back, which I did not invent. So I'll add a little bit of the juice from our pico de gallo. I use that as the chaser to two shots of tequila. Behold, pot sticker huevos rancheros and a pico back. Let's eat it straight out of the cast iron because I'm like that. PTL, man. Praise the Lord. <laughs>